everybody, welcome back to my channel, unless of course you're new here, in which case, hi, hello, my name is Ashley, and welcome to my random little corner of the internet. As you can tell from today's title, we are going to be opening our winter Lidgeway crate, and you may say, hey, Ashley, it's, um, it's June, and you live in the Northern Hemisphere, and you would be right, due to shipping issues and publishing issues and blah, 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 um, our winter crate was, uh, slightly delayed, and I received it today, so... Yeah, um, I do remember what this theme was because we were just talking about it. It is the reign of the queen or something along those lines. Um, I don't remember what fandoms are featured though. So we're just going to get right into it. That's upset. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's open this sucker up. Give you guys a sneaky peek. See, there is our pretty queen here on the front. Oh, and it is more of a like pamphlet this time as opposed to like the little one we usually get. So that's cool. But yeah, she's very pretty here on the front. And it's called The Rise of a Queen, not The Reign of a Queen. So, but we'll put that to the side because we don't want to um, be spoiled. So, figure out where to put this today. Alrighty. So, first up on top, we have Warrior Queen. It's a candle. Here we go. Candle. Warrior Queen by Novelly Yours, which I love their candles. They are always fantastic. Smells of pomegranate, amber, cedar, and patchouli. See, I'm not always a fan of patchouli, but this actually smells pretty good. And it's this very pretty peach color that matches the color on the cover. Um, I don't, I, by looking at it, I can't 100% tell you what the fandom is. But honestly, it kind of looks like Iron Widow. Maybe this book, this box may have been done before that came out. So I'm not sure. But... It does actually smell pretty good. The uh, the pomegranate sticks out a lot. Alrighty. Next up, we have something in a little pouch. And the little, let me get it out of the plastic first. The pouch itself has, like it's a little blue silk and it's got tiaras on it. That's what I'm trying to think of. Tiaras, crowns. And on the inside, ooh, did I drop something? Oh, I did. Okay. So we have a silk scrunchie that also has little tiaras on it and a sleep mask, which is the same blue silk. I have to put this box on the ground, <laughs> which is the same blue silk. Let me see if I can get it without it uh, reflecting. Not really well. Okay. It says, do you think the ability to sleep in counts as a special skill? I'm not 100% certain, but I think this might be a Lunar Chronicles. I feel bad because I absolutely love that series, but... Yeah, um, I think it might be with the tiara and everything like that. Um, but yeah, sleep mask. So um, I'm not a huge fan of things on my face, um, but my girls love sleep masks. I don't know why, but they do. So this might get passed on to them. So we'll see. Alrighty, next up. This is one of our uh, sneak peeks that we got. YouTube, this is a letter opener. And I think it is from Throne of Glass. Again, all of these are a I think situation. Like, I'm pretty certain this is Man Manon. Um, and this is a piece of art. It is a piece of art done by Gonzal Gonzalam Art. Uh, it'll tell me in the little in the in the booklet. Can't get it out, but yeah. So it's like a big bookmark. And she is stunning. Absolutely. But yeah, we've got our own uh, sword here. And I know the sword has a name. Um, if it is done a glass, I haven't read that yet. But uh, yeah, so that's really cute. Okay, next up is this big box. Um, we've got some... Ooh! I... Ooh, I like this a whole lot. Um, okay, good. You can just see more bookshelves in the mirror. But it is this very pretty um, gilded mirror. And it says queen on the bottom so that when you're looking in it, you know, you look in your mirror and it tells you you're a queen. It has a crown on top. It's very pretty. You can see all of my other books in the room because there's a lot. Um, but yeah, that's really, and it's got a, a stand so it can sit up like so. Very pretty. I like it a lot. Alrighty, let's see. Okay. So, and, oh, yes. 
So the new thing, instead of we were getting um, the photo strips in all of our boxes, but then now starting in this year, in 2022, we are getting character cards. And the one for the winter box is Legend Born. Fantastic book by Tracy Dion. If you have not read it yet, you definitely should. It is an Arthurian retelling. It's like King Arthur and his court, and yada, yada, yada. On the back, it tells us about the characters. So it says Legendborn. It talks a little bit about Bree Matthews. It talks a little bit about Sewellen Kane and Nick Davis, which are our main characters in the story. And this is absolutely stunning art. Um, it doesn't say the artist on here, but I know it will in the pamphlet. Um, okay, next up, I think this might be a coaster. But it is a fabric coaster, so that's cute because it looks like a little, like, flying carpet. Um, so my best guess is going to be City of Brass. I did just read this recently, and it was super cute. Um, I have to read the, the other two just to finish the story. It'll be fantastic. But it is. You can see it. It's very thick. It's got a rubber base on it so that it doesn't slide. My only issue with it is if it is supposed to be a coaster, that is, this is a very soft material. Um... I don't want to say suede. It's not obviously not suede, but it's got that feel to it. So I would be worried about it getting wet. But yeah, it's still a very useful item. Um, okay, next up are two things that I added onto my box. One of the options for a character card was a Caraval card. So it just shows a Ferris wheel, a carnival, a um, merry-go-round, a tent. On the back, it just talks about Caraval, like the location and things it's best known for. So here we go on the back. This is Caraval tent. Another one I got, it has been in the shop for a long time, and I've always thought it was very pretty. It's done by Lander Art. Um, it is from the Magical Crate, so meaning uh, their Harry Potter stuff. And it is this beautiful art print of the Core 7. So we've got, and in their identifying feature, I guess you could say, is glowing. So we've got Neville and a plant, which is a little weird that Trevor's not glowing, but I guess maybe Trevor's his own character. So we've got Neville and a plant. We've got Ron and his crown, Luna and her Spectre Specs, Harry and his scar, Hermione and a time turner, Malfoy and his dark mark, and Jenny and just her wand, because, you know, book Jenny is a badass. So yeah, I really, really thought this was a really beautiful piece, and I'm glad I finally got it. I know that in this box, we are missing one item that I did get as an add-on that was super excited for. I'm sure they will ship it separately later and it'll be totally fine. But um, another thing that they started doing for 2022 is little fairy doors. And uh, for this box, they had a TARDIS one. And I am a huge Doctor Who fan, so I'm very excited to receive that. If I get it before this video gets posted, I will post it somewhere here. If not, it'll be on my Instagram. Okay, so as you can tell, it's a different day, um, but I'm going to edit this in here. So this is, it says it's from La Joy, so I will assume that this is my TARDIS store. Um, this is a very large box, so I'm thinking it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Okay, it's a box inside of a box, still pretty big. No. Um, okay, so no offense at all to the lovely women at uh, LitJoy. Um, I was not expecting such really good quality, uh, but I am glad for the amount that uh, I paid for it. But this is, first off, it's it's much bigger than I thought, and then I just flung it forward so the door is open. But. And here we have the inside, so it looks like the inside of the TARDIS. And the way that this little doctor is shaped definitely looks like tin, and I'm pretty certain this is because it's got the round things on the walls. We always love the round things. This right here was the main reason I was excited for this box right here. So, yes, and it is, it's, and he's, it's pretty hefty. So, yes, I am very excited about this. Once I put it down, like, on my shelf, um, the doors won't open or they will stay open. I can't. Since I'm moving my arms, I keep swinging open, but yeah, super excited about it. <laughs> All right, last up. This was the reason that the book, the, the box was late. Um, the publishing company 
was behind. This book is going to have beautiful gilded edges and a reverse jacket like always. Maybe, maybe something printed on the cover itself. We will see. Um, I do know what book it is due to um, spoilers on Instagram, but that's fine. So here we go. We have This Woven Kingdom by Te Tahira Mafi. Tahira Mafi, I think that's how we say it. And as you can see, look at those edges. They're so pretty. Ah! Okay. And then, so they stopped doing a separate art print, which I'm really sad about because I do like hanging my art prints up. But the art print is inside the book with uh, the letter from the author on the other side. And it is also signed by the author. Yes. So the book itself, the hardcover, says live in the light without fear. And it is a very shiny cover. So this is the hardcover itself. And then I got the cover. And then the inside dust jacket. Oh, that is beautiful. So here we go. And then I will really quickly just read you what it says on the inside. It says, to all the world, Alizé is a disposable servant, never to be known for who she really is, the long-lost heir to an ancient Jinn kingdom. She is hunted always, forced to hide in plain sight, lest she, ex she expose herself to danger. Until one day, she makes a mistake. The crown prince, Cam Cameron, these are like almost regular sounding names, but they, she spells them specially. So <laughs> it throws me off. Um, the crown prince, Cameron, has heard the prophecies. He knows of the fearsome monster promised to kill his king. Darkness is fast descending upon his empire, driving Cameron to desperately seek out its source. But he grows ever more suspicious of the servant girl with the strange eyes. The more he learns about her and the harder it is to turn her to turn away. Even if falling for someone like Alizé means forfeiting everything he's ever known. This Woven Kingdom is a story of clashing empires, forbidden romance, and long-forgotten queen who must claw her way through darkness to reclaim her throne, rebuild her kingdom, and save her people from the half-lives they've been forced to live. So yeah, I have never read anything by Tahira Mafi. I know that she wrote the Shatter Me series. Um, I think that's, yeah. Um, she's obviously written other things. Everybody, a lot, tons of people love the Shatter Me series. I've just never gotten around to them. It's not that I don't want to, just haven't. But this sounds really cool. The book is stunning. Again, just... Look at the lines. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's read our little magazine so I can see if I was right about any of those fandoms. So here it is, our little magazine. Because usually they're like this big. They're like little squares. So this is cool. Um, because on the back it does now show us when things are happening when the books are coming out um it has a coupon for the back for this particular coupon it says get 50 percent off your katniss artemis towel while supplies last um i don't need that because here is mine that i got way back when it came out i absolutely love it it's beautiful it's stunning um i use that word a lot you know i, I watch a lot of people and they're like oh this is cute i think i use the word stunning a lot but yeah um okay so it's set up a little differently than it usually is so we've got you know how how a subscription to Lidre works. Uh, the inside is a letter from the Lidre team itself talking about the box a little bit. And then we have a little bit about the book and a little bit about the author. And then it starts talking about the crate items. So the sword, our Goldrin Letter Opener, YouTube Letter Opener. Uh, it says no one knows that Alizé in this woven kingdom has a warrior's heart. But when she uses her gift to protect a young boy, she reveals her true self. Though she doesn't use a weapon, feeling powerful while wielding a sword is just any warrior needs. Even if it just open, even if it is just to open your mail. I like the whole um, when she uses her secret gift or whatever to protect it. it gives me a very big Star Wars vibe, like Hidden Jedi, like when uh, Kanan Jarrus does it to protect Ezra in um, Rebels. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so yes, these. So it's not. This is. Selena, Selena. Again, I don't know much about Throne of Glass. This is from Throne of Glass. So the artwork is ooh by Maggie Rose Studio. Absolutely love her. She's adorable. She's very sweet. I've uh, connected with her a few times on Instagram. Very sweet, very sweet individual. Um, and the th the sword's name is Goldrin. Yep. All right, that's cool. And it's part of the Storybook Treasure Collection. So that means I guess in future boxes we will be getting cool little props. 
that have to do with box uh, stories. Alrighty, I was incorrect about uh, the candle, which I figured I was. It is Crown of Feathers. So it's just like Jen, Alizé is required to give up her give up or hide the unique abilities of her race in order to blend in with humans and keep the peace. Um, Alizé has decided if that fate is worth fighting against. Has to decide if that fate is worth fighting against. Veronica from Crown of Feathers by Nikki Palpreto must also decide what she is willing to fight for and part of her journey beca begins with becoming a Phoenix Rider. So, you know, I wasn't 100% wrong about it, the Iron Widow connection. Again... Iron Widow, fantastic book. You should read it. Yeah. And then just talks about what the candle smells like. Okay. I was wrong again. I was just wrong about a lot of these. So the sleep mask, this is just the baggie cam, and the sleep mask is from the selection, which makes sense because in the bachelor inspired thing, they would be looking for special skills. Uh, now you can sleep, feel like you're living the luxury, luxurious life of royalty with the sleep mask set inspired by the selection by Ki Kiara Cass. Even though America Singer has never has never aspired to be a princess, she does enjoy getting her Z's almost as much as she loves the food at the palace. In this woven kingdom, Alizé appreciates glorious fabrics designs, just like this sleepy, this silky sleep mask, scrunchie, and satin bag. Darling, you'll sleep perfectly tonight wearing your crown. Alrighty, I I did I get anything right? I didn't. I didn't get any of them right, uh, except for Son of Glass. I did say that um, because the rug the little the little mug rug as it calls it and the fact that it calls it a mug rug i'm really close to the camera the fact that it calls it a mug rug means that it's not for like it's not just a regular coaster it is for your coffee mugs things like that it is from the wrath and the dawn i have not read the wrath and the dawn like the actual book itself uh i've been reading the web series and the author or the uh, illustrator for that is just beautiful. um it's a step inside a whole new world with warm and gold warm golden sand while you enjoy spiced wine on an Arabian night. The Wrath and the Dawn inspired rug is the perfect place to set your drink while you read of far off places just to be sure to practice your storytelling skills or you might not make it till dawn. And then it just talks about the way that it's made and don't throw it in the washing machine and wash the sucker. Alrighty. Fairest mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall. You know, I talked about Lunar Chronicles. Didn't even think about the fact that um, our lovely mirror here is based on Lunar Chronicles. It says, Mirror, Mirror, on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? Alizé has to keep the top of her face hidden under a veil while she works as a servant, so many don't know the true beauty she has. Queen Lavana in Fairest, has quite an opposite life because she hides her true blemished face using a glamour. And so, again, this is also by Maggie Rose. And, yeah, beautiful, lovely, stunning, love it. Alrighty, and then it talks about our adventure card with Bree, Nick, and Swellen on it. Selwyn? Selwyn? I keep saying Selwyn, but Selwyn? And the authors for, the, the artist for these is going to be Sophia Volovic. I don't know if that means all of them are going to be by her, but that's really cool. And then it talks about our add-ons. So the circus tent one, uh, circus tent... So our Carval Circus Tent card was an add-on as well, still by Sylvia Volovic, so that does make me think that uh, she will be doing all of them. Another add-on, that, like the one that I was talking about at the beginning, is the TARDIS door that hasn't come in yet. Again, I will add it if I get it. If not, it's going to be on my Instagram. Um, it is a blue police box fairy door, um, and it's just it looks like the TARDIS on the outside when you open it. It's and it is by RJ Gualberto.art. Um, and it didn't say who the artist was for this, but it is it does look like he was another. Um, he did another one of the add-ons that I didn't get because I'm not a Vampire Academy fan. Um, but it is Gon Gonzalom.art. Everything's gonna be down in the description below with all of their links and everything like that. Let's see what else they have in here. Okay, and then in here it just kind of uh, describes the books and how, like, you know, how Lit Joy does special editions on their books. It had, talks about unicorns and talks about um, special edition books that they have. Yeah, so it is just like a little catalog now. <laughs> Instead of just talking about the items, it talks about summer stuff. And then our book that will be coming in, or our box that will be coming soon, actually. They did say it is running on time, so 
we will be getting another box hopefully within a week or so is going to be magic awakens this is our spring crate and uh it does show that one of our i'm very excited about this one of our spoiled items is we're going to be getting a drachma coin from percy jackson absolutely love percy jackson um i am new to that fandom as well oh well <laughs> i spent my my youth reading um harry potter and then about the time that percy jackson came out uh, i was uh, later in high school and you know it was too cool to read type situation I regret it Percy Jackson's awesome all right and I think my favorite item from this uh from the whole box is going to be this really pretty mirror from the Lunar Chronicles um it's either going to go in here in my library or it's going to go in my bathroom who knows I don't know maybe I just need to feel like queen sometimes um, if you got this box, or even if you didn't and you just watched this video, what was your favorite item? Leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the big thumbs up button as well as that big red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are always notified every time that I upload. And until next time, bye!